Iran's annual military parade commemorates the Iran-Iraq war that in many ways defined the ideology of the Iranian revolution, one that's based on the principles of resistance, martyrdom, faith, and uniting to keep out foreign invaders. To this day, these are themes that Iranian leaders repeat over and over again, and it was no different on this day. This event is also an opportunity for Iran to show off its military power. Like most military parades, it is loud, it is showy. Lots of soldiers marching, lots of weapons, and lots of nationalistic swagger. However, what this parade doesn't show is a complete picture of Iran's military prowess, one that's widely believed to be increasingly invested in covert warfare and especially cyber warfare. Iran sees itself as a victim of cyber warfare, and that's perhaps one of the reasons why it's reportedly one of the emerging powers in that area. Iran is also widely believed to command a wide network of armed volunteers and proxies in the region. These proxies are trained by Iran and they fight for Iran's interests in the region. However, technically, they're not considered to be part of Iran's armed forces. The strategy is due in large part to decades of economic and political isolation and restrictions that have left Iran with a mostly outdated military. It's also due in part to Iran's defensive military doctrine, one that's set to be designed to deter attacks. Iran publicly prides itself for not getting its conventional military involved in conflicts as an aggressor. However, with many of Iran's interests at stake in places like Iraq and Syria, it's very likely that Iran will continue to be very active militarily in the region, even if its activities don't involve the military weapons that it shows off. Reza Seah, Al Jazeera, Tehran.